Disney's five minute story starring Mickey. All right, so we got a couple Mickey stories that we'll be reading here. I think I'm gonna read Chef Mickey and Day at the Park. Mickey was excited. He was cooking a romantic dinner for Minnie. He wanted everything to be perfect. There was just one problem. Mickey didn't know what to make. Maybe my friends will have some ideas, Mickey thought. Mickey called Donald and Goofy. The friends agreed to come over and help. Soon Donald and Goofy arrived and they had brought Daisy to help too. What should I make? Mickey asked his friends. Hmm, Minnie likes lasagna, said Daisy. Daisy was right. Minnie loved lasagna. Mickey nodded and started to gather the ingredients. But Donald had a different idea. You should make a turkey, he said. It's Minnie's favorite. That will show her how well you know her. I don't have a very good Donald voice, sorry. Oh, how about a salad? Goofy added. Mickey was confused. Daisy was right, but Donald was right, too, and a salad did sound good. What was he going to do? Mickey looked at the ingredients he had taken out. What if he chose wrong? Oh, what do you think I should do, Pluto? He asked. Woo! Woo! Pluto barked. Oh, you're right, Mickey said. I should make them all. Soon Mickey was busy making turkey and lasagna and salad. It was a lot of food, but he was sure Minnie would love it. Mickey looked at the clock. It was getting late. He still needed to set the table, but he was too busy cooking. I can help you, Mickey, Daisy said. Daisy pulled out plates and glasses, and then she set the table, decorating it in all Minnie's favorite colors. Meanwhile, Goofy prepared a special fruit punch. Gorse, this is fun, he said, spilling punch all over the table as he stirred. Finally, the drink was ready. Goofy picked up the punch bowl and headed to the dining room. He didn't see Donald walking by with the salad. <sighs> Goofy and Donald smacked into each other. Salad flew into the air, punch spilled all over the floor, and Goofy fell into Daisy's beautiful table. Hearing all the noise, Mickey raced into the dining room. He could barely believe his eyes. Everyone's hard work was ruined. Oh, I'm sorry, Mickey, Goofy said. I didn't mean to ruin everything. I just wanted to help. Me too, Donald said. I wanted everything to be perfect. Mickey looked at his sad friends. Oh, it's okay, he said. I know it was an accident. With his friend's help, Mickey began to clean up the mess and suddenly he sniffed the air. Does anyone smell something burning? Mickey asked. Mickey opened the oven. He had been so busy cleaning that he'd forgotten about all about the food. Everything was overcooked. The dining room was still a mess and now the food was ruined too. What was Mickey gonna do? Just then, Minnie walked through the door. Hi, Mickey she said, called sweetly. I'm here for our special night. Minnie looked around the messy room. Mickey was holding a burned turkey. Her friends were covered in food and the table was a mess. Oh, Mickey, what happened? Minnie asked. Oh, I had everything planned out, Mickey told Minnie. I wanted our night to be special, so I made all our your favorite foods, turkey, lasagna, and salad. I even asked Goofy and Donald to help out, but then Goofy dropped the punch and Donald dropped the salad. After that, I guess things just got out of control. <laughs> it's okay, Mickey, Minnie said. I love that you wanted everything to be perfect, but that's not what's important. What's important is the time we spend together. Oh, shucks, Minnie, Mickey said. Thanks. But what are we gonna do about dinner? Minnie smiled. I have an idea, she said. Minnie looked at Minnie and smiled. His night wasn't, uh, did they order pizza? I guess they did. Mickey looked at Minnie and smiled. His night wasn't what he had expected. 
but he was still having fun. And he had learned an important lesson. As long as he was with Minnie, nothing else mattered. Mickey handed Minnie a slice of pizza. Oh, you're right, Minnie, he said. This is the perfect night after all. All right, we're gonna skip ahead to a day at the park. One sunny afternoon, Mickey and his nephews headed to Wonder World, the best amusement park around. For weeks, Morty and Ferdy had been begging their uncle to take them. Here it is, boys, said Mickey. Are you ready for a day full of rides and games? Yeah, the boys shouted together. They could hardly wait to get through the gates. Wait until you try out the bumper cars, Mickey said as they walked into the park. They're my favorite ride here. Now, come on, what should we do first? I'm gonna write, I'm going right to the teacups, said Ferdy excitedly. I'm going right to the swings, Morty said, jumping up and down. Mickey laughed. Well, we can't do two things at the same time. So, hmm, let's... But Morty and Ferdy weren't listening. The two ran off in opposite directions. Boys, boys, come back! Mickey yelled after them. But, but the boys were already too far away to hear him. Mickey ran after Morty, but his nephew was already out of sight. Where could he have gone? What had he said he wanted to do first? Oh, hmm. um, the swings, Mickey said, running him toward the ride. Mickey craned his neck, trying to see if Morty was on the ride. It was way above his head, going around and round. All he could see were feet. He watched for a few minutes, but he didn't think he saw his nephew. Oh, I guess I'll go look for Ferdy, Mickey thought. High above Mickey's head, Morty cried out in delight. He had been thinking about the swings all morning. He loved soaring over people in the park, his feet dangling above their heads. Suddenly, Morty spotted his Uncle Mickey. Hi, Uncle Mickey, he shouted, but he was too far up for his uncle to hear him. As Mickey ran to the other side of the park, he tried to remember what Ferdy had wanted to do, and then he spotted them, the teacups. Mickey watched as the giant cups spun around and around. He looked into each cup as it passed by him, but he didn't see Ferdy anywhere, and just watching the ride was making Mickey, oh, dizzy. He decided to try another direction. Where should I look next, he thought. Inside a teacup, Ferdy grabbed the wheel in the middle. He pulled hard to spin himself around faster and faster. Whoosh! Went the wind across his face as he whipped around. Ferdy laughed. He wished Morty and Uncle Mickey were there to join in on the fun. Mickey was starting to get worried. Where could his nephews be? He looked everywhere, but he couldn't find the boys. They weren't on the Ferris wheel. They weren't on the roller coaster. They weren't riding the carousel. And they weren't playing any of the games. Do you see them in each picture? Mickey's just looking in the wrong spot. Finally, Mickey stumbled upon a huge crowd of people. What's going on? He wondered. He peeked through the people and he saw a parade winding down the path. There were floats, a marching band, dancers, even a clown. Morty and Ferdy, oh, Morty and Ferdy would never miss this, he thought. He began to search for them in the crowd, but the boys were nowhere to be found. Do you see them? Yeah, they're right there. Mickey glumly sat down on the bench and watched people walking by, and suddenly he heard someone calling his name. Uncle Mickey! Morty and Ferdy, loaded down with snacks, ran up to Mickey. We've been looking for you everywhere, said Morty. Where were you? Mickey jumped up and pulled the boys in for a huge hug. You were looking for me, he said. I looked for you all over the park. Ah, oh, we're sorry, said Ferdy. We were just so excited to try all the rides, said Morty. We've done just about everything. Oh, I hope I was hoping to exp we'd explore the park together, said Mickey. That's part of the fun of coming here. Oh, sorry, Uncle Mickey, the boy said. Then they looked at each other and smiled. Hmm. 
We did save the best part for you, though, said Morty. Crash! Mickey's bumper car bounced off of Ferdy's and straight into Morty's. Oh, I'll get you for that, yelled Morty, steering back towards his uncle. Mickey drove his car out of the way, causing Morty to bump into Ferdy instead. All three of them laughed. You were right, Uncle Mickey, said Ferdy. Yep, it's way more fun to do this together, agreed Morty. Mickey smiled and drove his car right into his nephew's car. Bonk! All right, that'll be the last one for tonight. Good night. I love you.